Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here with another fun-filled day of science and I'm so excited to be back with you today. I've missed you dearly and I'm so excited to be here. I know I've said that already, but it's still true. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful winter break and are ready to learn again. Now, before winter break, we were talking about fabric and we're still talking about fabric, learning new things about it each and every day. Now, this week, we're going to continue learning about fabric, and we're going to focus on how fabric is made. Now, fabric is truly amazing. Without even knowing it, we develop ideas about how we feel about it. We grow accustomed to liking it or not liking it, based on how it looks or how it feels, and it can talk to our brains telling us whether or not to like or dislike something. And then it makes our bodies act a certain way. When I was little, my mom would have to put my shoe on several different times if my sock wasn't on the right way. Seems pretty silly, right? But there's that seam on the top of your sock and if that was hitting my foot the wrong way, guess what? My shoe had to go on again. That seam couldn't move. We all have ideas about how fabric feels and the way things are made, the way that sock is made, the way that seam was created in that sock mattered to me. And it told me how I had to wear my clothing. And there are different textures to fabric, different patterns, different colors, and the ways fabric is put together itself, okay? And this is called manufacturing. Cloth, cloth manufacturing happens many different ways for many different reasons, and some of these um, ways are part of traditions passed down from generation to generation that are ingrained in societies. And I'm excited to be able to share some of those ways with you this week to, um, to bring some new uh, cultures into your, into your homes. Now, today, I want you to tell me if you happen to know of any different ways that fabrics are put together. You might have a family member that put that uses a type of um, cloth manufacturing that that you don't know about, or that works with a material that can be used to create things like hats or scarves or mittens that might help you or might give you some information towards what we're going to be learning about later this week and you might not even know that yet. So what what I want you to do, excuse me, is tell me what you know about clothing and how it is made. You might not know anything and that's okay, but I want to see what you know. So today is just a day to share. So I want you to tell me if you happen to know anything today and if you don't, that's fine. But I want you to have a wonderful day, and I will be back with you tomorrow sharing one type of cloth manufacturing and continuing to share this journey with you. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.